I've written 64 murder mystery novellas. I think I've got this. Let's go solve a murder. Here we go! Mapleworth Murders. JB and John, it's good to see both you guys. Hello, Hello John! <laughs> John, uh, JB, this show is absolutely hilarious. It reminded me of a uh, like a more modern uh, murder she wrote, but with definitely a lot more comedy behind it. So, John, I know you're a co-creator with the show. Where did the idea for this kind of come together and then to piece it together into these quibby bite-sized segments? It's funny that I was, I was trying to think of just ideas and I had a bad writer's block and my wife Sue said, why don't you write something for Paula Pell because she's the funniest person we know and she needs she needs a show to showcase everybody how awesome she is. And then five minutes later, it came back with this idea that she would play like a, a Miss Marple uh, murder she wrote type character uh, solving crimes in a really small town. And then when we got involved with Quibi, it would just kind of lent itself perfectly to have these kind of, because they're only like 10 minute episodes you could do uh, cliffhangers and having a murder mystery where, you know, another person gets killed is just a perfect way to end an episode. So it kind of just, it was the perfect fit for this type of show. It appears he was killed with ham. Ham! It was killed with ham. Approximately 15, 15 minutes. 15 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago. I was gonna say 15 minutes. You saw me, right? But a spit got caught in my throat. You didn't even pat my back to see I was talking or not. If it wasn't for Miss Mapleworth, I don't know if the police chief would be solving any investigations now. Hey, hey, John, you bite your tongue, man. You bite your tongue. Me and my, me and all this appeals are professionals. You understand? <laughs> we give people a chance. You will get arrested and go downtown. He can't get arrested for just that. You can't arrest him for just a question. No, no, I can arrest anybody I want to. I hey, know. Hey, okay. hey, I thought you. I thought. Hey, pills? Not today. Don't think that it, it won't happen to you too. <laughs> JB, how did this character come together? Cause I mean, I don't mean to go too far now. He's not as bad as police chief Wiggum, but he's on the way. You know what? He's a professional, number one. You gotta be a professional when you are an officer. And having an officer, like Officer Pills here by my side, I need, I need another ear. I need someone to bounce ideas off of. Uh, uh, we gotta go through the case together. You know, I don't trust Officer Pimps, but I respect him being there and I respect his badge. And that's the main thing that me as the police chief will always, always respect. Mapleworth Murders, only on Quibi.